What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, um, I'm going to be taking a look at Miles Gaskin today. Um, <clears throat> obviously, the Miami Dolphins are on a bye week this week. Uh, but I usually hit you with about three Dolphins videos per week. Um, normally, on Sundays, I would release, you know, whole video talking about, you know, who we're playing that week. Um, you know, what injuries they have, what injuries we have, stuff like that. But since it's a bye week, I can't do that this week. So I'm doing this. Um, and also during the week, I got some things planned as well. So look out for that. I think I'm going to be doing a Christian Wilkins film session for this week as well. And I'm thinking... So basically what I have planned um, this week... Um, putting this out Sunday, then I'm planning on doing Christian Wilkins, probably release that Tuesday, because I usually do Tuesday and Wednesday defense and offense, but again, we don't have a game, so I can't do that, so I plan on doing Christian Wilkins on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, if it's available, I plan on looking at the Rams defense, because that's who we're facing, and that's who Tua's first game is going to be against, so yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and switch angles real quick. This might be a longer video. Nice little draw. Not mad at that. Uh, some of these I'm not really going to have a whole lot to say. <clears throat> but good vision. Also, I did a similar video up like this a couple months ago. Um, before the season. You know, before we... Had he even got a chance to play? This is when we still had, um... Uh... Fuck. What's, what's dude's name? Um... Kalen Balaj. Jesus, I could not think of Kalen Balaj's name for a second there. Blanked out hard. Um, before we had let him go... Um, we didn't really know who our starting running back was going to be. We were assuming it was Howard and Brita. We didn't know that Gaskin was going to get the snaps that he's been getting. But, um, and I liked him then. Liked him when we drafted him. So, yeah. Just wanted to say that. If I remember, I might put it in the description of this video. Uh, nowhere to really go there. Um, that's kind of been an issue for us all season, honestly. Consistently one blocking. Right there shows off his hands pretty well. Ends up kind of having to jump up for that. Just about one hands that thing. We're really starting to use him in the passing game as well. This is one thing I really like too is his agility and his acceleration. He's not necessarily the fastest like top speed wise, but the way he can change direction and get up to full speed quickly, it, it's fantastic. And lateral movements are very good for him too. He can definitely make you miss. block from Ryan. Now we just looked at these plays, but still. Just shows right here, you can't really arm tackle the dude. Guy tried to get desperate, just kind of went for his leg. Can't really do that with Miles Gaskin. Once again, showing his hands. Um... Not much of a route really here, but he does catch this away from his body. This isn't a necessarily easy catch to do. Um, and he gets a little bit of yak off that too. Good job. A lot of running backs drop that pass. That That's a wide open hole. I, that, I can't even say good vision there. It'd be hard to not see that. That's just a good blocking scheme. And a bad job from the Jets. This is a good angle. 
Mm. Good job following your block. Not a fan of Jesse Davis, but Jesse Davis does a good job. Actually, this whole blocking scheme on this left side is pretty good. Um, the center seals up a gap. Um, Jesse Davis is pushing the edge to the side with help from the tight end, and Eric Flowers is going to climb up to the linebacker. Uh, Smythe is going to get the other linebacker and going to create a pretty good gap for him to run through. Everybody does pretty well there. Not mad at that. Shows some of that lateral quickness. Quick little dump off. Actually, that's a screen. But the block from Eric Flowers as well. That's one thing I like about him, too, is he does have lateral quickness, but he's not one of those quick running backs that tries to do too much. Uh, he's not afraid to get the dirty yards and just kind of, if it's not there, just take what he can get, get back to the line of scrimmage so it's not a loss. He's not afraid to do that. That's one thing that Reggie Bush had a problem with. He sometimes had a tendency to try to do a little too much. Shaquem Grant does that, too, when you try to run the ball with him. Nice little pass there. Not mad at that. Not much. To le not really much to say there, though. Um, probably could have gone this way, but still pretty good. More of the same. That's one thing I really like from him, too. Like, when the blocking isn't there, he can bounce out to the outside and just make a play happen. But he picks his he picks the time to do that well. Cuts it back there. And that's, where we, that's what we don't get as much from Breda and Howard. Is his ability to make plays happen when the blocking isn't there. Uh, not that time, though. <laughs> that, that, that was bad. Um, yeah. Good job getting what he could there. Showing good vision, finding this hole. Not mad at that. Showing a little bit of that speed right there. Just outpacing the linebacker. Like I said, he's not necessarily the fastest running back in the world. But he has a lot of lateral quickness. And that's what you really get from him. And like I said, when plays break down, like he's such a patient, he's such a patient runner too. I think if we draft a running back um, this year at some point and pair it with him, I think we'd be looking pretty good. Getting into the Niners game. Mm. <laughs> Got caught up, spun out of it, picked up what he could. Put his head down, not afraid to get the dirty yards. I love it. Been so impressed with Miles Gaskin this year. Becoming one of my favorite players on this team. Very quickly. Not bad. And he's become a reliable target for Ryan, too. Hopefully that saves the... That stays the same with uh, Tua.
Got an easy run there. Good blocking scheme. Niners had no chance of stopping that. So right here, a lot of running backs would have just been down right away, but he's able to sort of make this guy miss to make this not as bad of a loss. Again, showing off that lateral quickness a little bit, but blocking just wasn't there for him to really accomplish much. Same thing there. Showed some toughness hanging on to that. Give him that. Kind of ran into his old lineman. You know, ran into Eric Flowers. But was able to get back to the line of scrimmage anyway. Good pass from Ryan. Like I said, he's just been a consistent safety blanket in the passing game. That's a good catch there. Had to high point that. That pass was a little bit high. Not much room there, but was able to get what he could. That might have been a face mask. Yeah. I don't know if that got called or not. Might have been able to get something going this way. Because you had 56 kind of coming through this gap, but... It was closing fast anyway, so probably wouldn't have gotten too much regardless. But overall, his vision's very good. And, and if he finds a crease, he's going to explode through it. Very good one-cut type back. Best. Probably going to have to edit that out. Real quick, let me um just check... Okay, I'm about 15 minutes in. Okay. Make a mental note of that. So I know where to edit. That's a face mask. Yeah, there it is. But good vision. Finding the hole there. Might have been able to get a little bit more if he didn't get face mask. Oof. Ryan kind of set him up there. Nowhere to go. Not much to say there. Followed his block well. Stuck to this guy. Kept his hand on it on the Eric Flowers' back. I'm out of debt. Found a pretty good gap there as well. 
I'm not gonna um, make this actually too long, honestly. I, I'll probably finish up the Seattle game, and I'll probably call it because I, I, I mean, I broke down all these plays already. Like each week, I've done it. So I'll probably do the probably finish off the Seattle game, and I'll probably call it. Hmm. Showing some power there. Not something you really expect from him, but hey. Run him the fuck over. Not mad at that. <clears throat> Spin and get back to the line of scrimmage. I like it. He's always fighting to get every little bit that he can, and I love it. Once again, spinning and just getting every single little yard he can get. Every blade of grass. Finding the perfect gap. Or at least the most optimal. Man. Good job for Miles Gaskin, but man, Jesse Davis, I'm gonna put your hands out there kind of lazily. Don't have them really tucked in. You kind of have them wide and low. End up getting them swiped, and then you. <laughs> I know the play is going the other way, but I don't like Jesse Davis. Ugh. And the thing is, we've tried him at guard, we've tried him at left and right side on tackle. We've put, I think we've played left and right guard. I think the only position he hasn't played is center. And he has been ass at every position we've tried him at. Ugh. Sorry, Miles Gaskin. Back to you. Nowhere to go there. So, let's see. Nah, he really didn't have anywhere to go here either. Because he couldn't really cut right because the linebackers. He probably would have got laid the fuck out, to be honest. Nice little dump off pass. Yeah, we're good. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I just kind of wanted to give y'all a little bit of something. Um... I know it's a bye week. I'm kind of bored this week, too. Uh, it just kind of is what it is. But I wanted to do some kind of Dolphins film. So, yeah. Anyway, this should come out Sunday. I'm recording this Friday, but it'll, it'll probably come out Sunday. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.